Hello, I'm Marshall Byrne from Protein Metrics. This tutorial explains how to use Bionic for proteomics data analysis. This tutorial covers the basics. Later tutorials will cover more advanced topics. Modification, fine control, wildcard search, glycopeptide search, and 2D FDR estimation. Bionic is a search engine for identifying peptides from tandem mass spectra. It is more sensitive than other proteomic search engines and can run many more types of searches. With Bionic, it's quite feasible to search for 20 or more modification types at a time, to search for unknown modifications or amino acid substitutions, and to search for glycopeptides. But in this introductory tutorial, we will discuss more basic searches. Here's the Bionic input GUI. Bionic requires a spectrum file in MGF, MZXML, or RAW format, and a protein database in FASTA format. By default, Bionic adds reverse protein sequences as decoys and adds common contaminants such as human keratins, BSA, and trypsin. There are four tabs for setting search options. The first tab here lets you choose the type of digestion and specificity. This data is from a trypsin digest, so RK for arginine and lysine, and C-terminal side are the right settings here. For simplicity and speed, I'm choosing a fully triptych search, and I'm allowing up to two missed cleavages per peptide. This is Orbitrap HCD data, so let's set the precursor mass tolerance to 6 parts per million, and the fragment mass tolerance to 10 parts per million and we select QTOF HCD as the fragmentation type. So let me start it running and while Bionic is going through its steps I'll show you how I set the modifications for this search. Here's how you add modifications in Bionic. You go to the modifications tab, press enter, edit, and a box pops up. Then you can select whatever modifications you like. This contains all the modifications in Unimod. Here I'm setting deamidated asparagine. Let's make it common two, which means at most two occurrences per peptide. And let's set dehydrated, so water loss from serine and threonine. And let's make those rare one, which means at most one occurrence per peptide. Over here is wildcard search, which is the subject of one of the advanced tutorials. There's another tab for setting glycan modifications. Again, we'll cover that in a later tutorial. Right now, let me show you the advanced tab, which includes a variety of switches that help Bionic cope with imperfect inputs. For example, this checkbox lets me override the precursor charge assignments in the input spectra and search with whatever charge assignments I like. By convention, precursor mass is supposed to be the monoisotopic mass, but input spectra often have precursor masses that are 1 or even 2 Daltons too high. Bionic includes three settings to correct for these off by x errors. No correction, allow for errors up to 2 Daltons, or allow for even larger errors with the exact amount of error scaling with the precursor mass. Over here, we have options for controlling Bionic's output protein list. Bionic will output a protein list ranked from most confident protein on down, along with a list of peptide spectrum matches or PSMs for each protein in the list. This pull-down menu lets you control the length of the protein list. Bionic always outputs all confident proteins and then continues some ways into the noise proteins so that the user can look at the protein list and see if there is anything interesting hidden among the noise. 2% goes farther into the noise and no cuts shows everything, all proteins and all PSMs. This checkbox asks Bionic to output the protein list in FASTA format. This is useful for two-pass search. You can run a limited search for the first pass, for example a fully triptych search with only a few modifications, and then run a wide search for the second pass. 
The focus database will include both targets and decoys. This avoids putting a bias into the second pass search. A focus database can save a lot of running time, especially on a simple sample containing fewer than, say, 500 proteins. For difficult multi-modification searches such as histone tails or glycopeptides, you should always use a focus database. This checkbox lets you control Bionics PSM list by filtering out PSMs with low scores. We almost always leave the box checked and let Bionic filter the PSMs for us. You can view Bionic's results either as an Excel spreadsheet or with our interactive viewer. I'll show the Excel first. The Excel output has three sheets, a cover page, a protein list, and a PSM list. Here's the cover page. It gives statistics here. This search found 2,554 target proteins and 26 reverse proteins. Here's the protein list. Two or more proteins with exactly the same PSMs are shown as a protein group. Here I'm showing results in the Bionic Viewer. In the Bionic Viewer, you can select a protein, which brings up a coverage map here, along with all the PSMs assigned to the protein. You can select a PSM either in the coverage map or in the PSM list and view an annotated spectrum. You can dock and undock window panes and also zoom in for a better view. Fragment ions are annotated in the spectrum, B ions, Y ions, doubly charged Y ions, and so forth. You can hover over a peak to see the precise M over Z measurement and intensity. Thanks for your attention. In this short video, we have seen bionic basics. See the later videos for more advanced topics. Visit our website or send us email for more information.